Hi guys, it's Prasad here and you're watching my full review of the Moto X Play. In the box, we find the phone itself, a two port USB charger which also supports Motorola's turbo charging, a micro USB to USB cable, a headset, some documentation and a SIM removal tool. Let's put everything back into the box and take a look at the phone itself. All the sides of the phone are covered in plastic which has a metallic finish to it. On the right, you'll find the volume buttons and the power cum lock switch which is nicely textured. All the buttons are placed very conveniently and are very easy to reach without any hand gymnastics. The 3.5mm headphone jack sits on top accompanied by a SIM tray. No USB type C here but you'll find a micro USB port at the bottom. On the back, we have a design we all are familiar with, but the biggest upgrade here is a 21 megapixel camera with dual tone LED flash. We'll get to the quality in just a moment. At the bottom, you'll find a secondary microphone and a little notch to remove the back cover. Even though the back cover is removable, it is meant only for the sake of replacement. The massive 3630 mAh battery is sealed inside. Flip the phone over to the front and we'll find a 5.5 inch full HD display. But don't let the two speaker grills fool you. They are not the stereo speakers. Only the one at the bottom is a speaker and the one at the top is an earpiece. The 5 megapixel front facing camera is placed on the right side of the earpiece and the proximity and light sensors on the left. The SIM tray on top is a home to dual nano SIM cards with both of them supporting 4G LTE networks. The front of the device is covered with Corning Gorilla Glass 3 and the device is IP52 rated. Keeping the thing snappier is a Snapdragon 615, an Octaco 64-bit processor with 4 cores clocked at 1.7 GHz and the other 4 at 1 GHz. Pushing all the pixels on the Full HD display is an Adreno 405 GPU and all of this is backed by 2 gigs of RAM. And now, here is some pricing information. The 5.5 inch Full HD display has a pixel density of just over 400 ppi. It is bright, vivid and the content appears to be extremely sharp. The color mode option in the display settings lets you change the vibrance of the display you can switch between the normal and the vibrant mode. The display gains enough brightness to work well in the outdoor situations. Even under direct sunlight, it is visible very well. The bigger display size means this device is not meant for one-handed use. It's not that you can't use it with one hand, but you'll definitely have to make some hand gymnastics to make things work, which is definitely not recommended. And now, let's talk about the single front facing speaker. Even though the speaker gets pretty loud, the sound is very teeny and it gets distorted when it tries to gain the loudness. Well, if you like to keep your phone flat on a table and type, this phone is definitely not for you. Due to its curved back, this phone is a pain to type on. Now coming to the software, this phone runs an almost stock version of Android 5.1.1 which is Lollipop, with the Marshmallow upgrade coming in the quarter first of 2016. 
Also, the bloatware is kept to a minimum with just one Flipkart app pre-installed. And like every other Motorola phone, this phone comes with the Moto Assist app to help you with some day-to-day -day tasks. Also present here is the Motorola's active display which gives you a view at your notifications without having to unlock your phone. The Snapdragon 615 keeps things running so smoothly that you barely feel that this is a mid-range device. And now let's talk about the 21 megapixel camera. To launch the camera app, all you have to do is give it a quick double twist and it launches the camera app. The camera app is very simple and easy to use. You can control the exposure by turning the exposure dial on the screen. Swipe to the right and you will get a dial which gives you some very basic functions to control your camera. The picture can be taken by tapping anywhere on the screen. In ample light, the images taken by the camera are pretty sharp, vibrant and pleasing to the eyes. However, things get bad when it comes to low light. The camera struggles to focus and the images taken with the flash are often overexposed. When it comes to the video, the Moto X Play can record videos at up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. Due to the face detection autofocus, the camera is very quick to focus. The camera likes to change the white balance quite often. And the lack of optical image stabilization is evident. The front facing 5 megapixel camera is good for selfies, but again the images are often oversaturated and I think it has more to do with the software. The double twist shortcut to launch the camera sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. And in my testing, the camera app crashed quite a few times, which was really annoying. Every smartphone has its weak points and some strong points and perhaps the biggest strong points of Moto X Play is its massive 3630 mAh battery. With the provided turbo charger, you can get up to 8 hours of usage time in just 15 minutes of charge and in my opinion that is a very useful feature. With the battery charged to 100%, you can get more than 30 hours of usage time. Considering the phone's 5.5 inch Full HD display, the battery life is really great. And now coming to the conclusion. In my opinion, no smartphone is perfect and most of you will agree to that. If you are looking for a phone with great battery life, a robust design, a decent Full HD display and a brand you can rely on, then this is the phone for you. But if you are hoping that the 21 megapixel camera will amaze you, then you will be disappointed. Well guys, those were my thoughts on the Motorola Moto X Play. What you guys think about this phone, let me know in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks for watching.